good evening good evening teacher good evening good evening good evening Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, um, before we start, let me speak a little bit in Spanish. Antes de iniciar, me gustaría mencionar algunas cosas. Como por ejemplo, eh, que todavía tengo personas en la plataforma que no me han hecho ninguna actividad. Ni semana uno, ni semana dos. He venido preguntando si les ha generado algún inconveniente, pero nadie me ha dicho algo al respecto. Entonces... Teacher. Hola. Este, yo sí, yo sí tuve un detalle anoche que no pude hacer unas oraciones. 
y estuve intentando, me he dormido casi a las once y media, este, intentando hacerlo. Sí. Este, son unas oraciones. Vaya, pero este, no sé si de, de esas clases no fueron hoy que no las recibí yo, que, que estuve de oyente. Ah, ok. No pude estar totalmente pendiente, mm. pero esas oraciones no las pude hacer. Son seis oraciones las que yo no pude hacer. Ok. Y este, ya los demás ejercicios sí, pero, pero esas oraciones no las pude hacer. ¿Y se recuerda de qué día? Mm, no. No, teacher. Es que anoche estaba intentando hacer este todo prácticamente de un solo lo, los ejercicios. Sí. Sí, porque necesario. habría que, que verlo. <coughs> habría que puntualizar y ver qué ejercicio es para poderle orientar. Hola. Voy a buscarlo, Stitcher. Pero. Aquí ¿Qué? está. Él es la segunda. Quizás sería del día. Jueves, quizá. Pero ya sería la sección dos. Sí, 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 la segunda. <coughs> que dice, read, read the information, te, take a proper question, don't forget ¿Qué to use eres? the action. Este, Ahí donde está no la... olvidar los, los auxiliares, dice. Sí, pero donde está el lapicito, ponga el cursor del mouse y ahí le va a decir el número de tarea. Número 7. Ah, número 7. Ok, ya la tengo. Interaction, read the information, type a proper question. Don't forget to use the auxiliaries. Yes. Y, y aparece what this machine do, who she meet on Saturday, etc., etc., etc. Sí, pero... Ok, entonces aquí los auxiliares que usted va a usar solamente son do o das. En, en... Teacher, perdón, eh, en esa parte solo recomendarle a los compañeros, por si, si no han hecho ahí, eh, indican que hay que poner la primera letra en mayúscula y cerrarla con, con el signo de interrogación, pero hay una que no la agarra en mayúscula sino que solo en minúscula, es la, ya le digo cuál. How many people does she su, su, supervise? Esa sí tiene que ir toda en minúscula, porque le va a dar error si la pone en mayúscula, y de ahí todas tienen que ir la inicial en mayúscula y cerrarla con el signo de interrogación. Ok. No le te copia. <coughs> Ok, pero regresando otra vez al tema. Bueno, tengo pocos. Pero sí me preocupa porque he encontrado que hay varios que no me han hecho. No me han hecho ninguna actividad. Teacher. Hello. 
y puede mencionar lo que te las tenemos completas o para ver si, 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 no, si estamos bien. Vale, ahorita solo tengo one, two, three. Four. Mm -hmm. Tengo four que no, no les aparece ninguna actividad. <coughs> en el caso suyo, si le aparecen. <coughs> Entonces ahí tengo a Paola que no me aparece registro. A Gisela, Edwin, Alexis, Pérez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yesenia, Lisette. Teacher. Hello. Good evening. Eh, soy Paola. Eh, yo no he hecho nada en la plataforma, teacher. Es que fíjese que estos días he estado... Hasta aquí de trabajo y de verdad es que no me ha quedado mucho espacio. Pero me comprometo que mañana, sí. mañana, mañana te realiza la actividad que estamos preparando. Entonces mañana quedo libre y mañana me pongo al día. Pregunto, pero sí puede accesar. Sí, hoy sí, teacher. Hoy desde la primera vez que me mandaron el enlace me, me, me registré y todo y todo se pudo abrir muy bien. Ok, sí. okay perfecto. Bueno, let me see someone else. Mercedes, me falta la segunda semana. Eh, don Ernesto no está. Ingrid Geraldina, no la. Let me see where it is. I don't see it, I don't see it here. Okay, maybe I'm going to wait a little bit in order that all of you be here and explain this point because it's really important. And I need to remind you to do it. And don't forget to follow the interaction there. You are going to find out all the, in a very clear way. And you are going to do exactly what the interaction said. And that way you are going to get good results. Okay, I got 14. Bueno, no sé si es por el bad weather, que algunos no se han conectado porque ya avanzamos varios minutos. Okay, let's start now. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is session number 12. And our topic for today is how to use should and should not. So uh, let us Let's start now talking about this. This is video conference number 12, how to use should and should not. Okay, uh, we are going to start with these questions. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Let us focus our attention in the first question. I'm going to read it again. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? What can you tell me about? ¿Qué me dicen al respecto? Teacher. Hello, sir. 
What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean in behavior? Behavior. Behavior is la conducta, el comportamiento. Ah, okay. Thank you. Y existe el verbo que es behave. And the pronunciation is behavior. Behave. Behave es el eh, es el verbo. Behavior sería ya. Behavior. Ah, okay. Behavior. Thank you. Okay, does your company have regulation about employees' behavior? Tell me. Share with me. In my case, yes, teacher. Okay. I have a lot of regulation about employees' behavior. Okay. And we have a, a politics about the behavior. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Uh, me too, teacher. In my workplace, have to embellish code or conduct. Okay. Could you name three example of an acceptable behavior in your company? Okay, let us continue, please. Somebody, somebody wants to answer the first question. Does your company have regulation of our employees' behavior? Name three example of an acceptable behavior in your company. In my case, teacher, um, uh, abuse of power and uh, discrimination or sexual harassment of se sexual har harassment okay yes i got it i got it teacher yes. um maybe uh, is spreading malicious rumors oh, is correct okay. okay it's correct teacher yes okay and discrimination uh I will see behavior, teacher. Okay. Uh, and the last one, um, personal insult, teacher. Okay. Only that, teacher. Okay, thank you. Someone else, please. Teacher in my work, uh, get to work drink, drunk. Okay. Uh, miss three days without a uh, justification. Um, and the last one, uh, discrimination. Okay. Discriminate. Okay, thank you. Somebody else. Uh, my company, uh, sexual content, bullying, and fighting. Okay. That means that, sure. you, that your company sure. has regulation about employees' behavior, right? Teacher, Hello, sir. He, he is correct to say discrimination sexually. Mm. Quizás la idea es como discriminación por, por, el, por el gusto del sexo. How do you say in English? It, uh, when, as, as soon as you say discrimination in both all the uh those aspects that had to do with with uh with the marital status 
and also how to do with uh, the, the preferences. Because in some application, some uh, company has a uh, female, uh, male, and don't mention something like that. En algunas aplicaciones de trabajo, eh, cuando aparece eh, la aparece masculino, femenino, eh, y hay otro apartado más ahí. Prefiero no decirlo, algo así aparece, creo. Could be sexual preferences. Okay, someone else, please. Alguien más? Me, teacher. Okay. In my case, irresponsibility, uh, negligent, the children. Okay. What else? Only that? Teacher, in my okay. case, it could, um, courtships uh, between manager and, and employees. Employment, employees. Yes. And bullying and other uh, speak with... Uh, Powerful word. Okay, I, I got your point. I got your point. It's like a jail. ¿Cómo puedo decirlo más, más fácil, teacher? Eso de las palabras fuertes o palabras soeces bad, es algo que no... Yeah, bad words or jails. Malas palabras o gritos. Ok. Ok, so, someone else. In my case, it is um, acceptable. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Which one? Acceptable. ¿Cómo se dice? Inaceptable. 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 Not to arrive with a warning. Okay. O insult each other. People. Okay. Or a steel material. Okay. 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 Let us uh, switch a little bit.
Okay, let us start with this one. I'm going to share it with you. Okay, click on it and resolve, please. Okay, teacher. But before you do that, let me check up the attendance. Okay, okay. America apareció. Are you there, America? No? Okay, Carlos Amilcar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, estamos pendientes con alguna actividad de la semana 2, ¿cierto? Mm, yo creo que sí. Okay. Uh, Edwin Alexis Pérez. No here. Okay. Uh, Edwin Alfredo. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Gisela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Héctor Enrique. Present teacher. Ingrid Geraldina. Ingrid. Jonathan. Present. Don José Ernesto. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Candy teacher, Nancy. hello. I don't hear my name, teacher. You didn't hear your name. I don't hear. Edwin Alfredo. Yes, present. Okay, um, Mauricio Antonio. Present, teacher. Mercedes. Present, teacher. Nos hace falta alguna actividad de la semana 2, ¿cierto? Sí, teacher. Okay. Mañana me pongo al día. Ok, ok, thank you. Teacher, okay. my name. Candy. Yes, teacher, present. Natalie. Yes, teacher. Ok, Roxana. Present, teacher. Álvarez. Roxana Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Sara. Sergio. Present teacher. Okay, Janet. Y Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Janet is there? Okay. Solo nos hizo. Oh, no, Yesenia está por acá. Yesenia, si me está oyendo. Necesito saber si tiene algún problema para entrar a la plataforma. Ya que no tengo registro de actividades. Ok, let us continue then. Teacher, eh, igual yo tengo una actividad pendiente en la plataforma, pero espero hacerla ahora, mañana en la mañana. Ok. Sí, recuerden que como ya vamos culminando semana, yo tengo que ir actualizando notas. That is the reason why I'm telling you because uh, 
I need to remember that that complete all the exercises that we have in the platform. It's really, really important that you do it. Okay, go ahead. You can start with the exercise and then we are going to talk about. Go ahead, do it. Finish, teacher. Okay. Just wait a little bit, not that the rest can finish. Finish, sir. Okay. Finish, teacher.
Okay, let us make a review together. Okay, what I need to do here. Hello? Oh. So there is going to be here. School. School. Okay, you got it there. You should go to school. Okay. What about this one? I show them. I shouldn't get. Okay, hold on. I shouldn't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, there. I shouldn't eat much ice cream. Okay. What about this one? They should. They should. They should go to class all time. Come to to class all time. Okay, they should come to class on time. Number four. I drink water. I'm sorry. I should. I should drink I water. Drink water. water. Fresh. Fresh water. Fresh every, water every day. Okay. What about this one? Should. Should we? We too. Go to pizza. Go to pizza party tomorrow. Okay. Number six. We should. We should. I speak. I speak. Only. Only I speak. Only. You don't like speaking. No, no, no. no, no. Speak only. Speak only. Ah, okay. In class. In, 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 in English class. In English class. Ah, okay. Take a look at that. We should be only in this in English class. Should we? We should should. No. Should, no, no, no. Should, should we? we. Yes. Should we? Should we wash wash our hands our hands hand hand before we we peace eat. Pizza. pizza. Okay. You. You should. You should bring. You should bring apple. Apple juice. Apple. Apple juice. Apple use to you, you, you friend you friend at 
at lunch time. Um, should we? Be happy after party pizza. Pizza party. After pizza party, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Ah, uh, we missed one. We should. We should. We should be teacher. Be, be. be. Mm -hmm. we should be and and pull it at the, the pizza party. party at the pizza party. Polite. 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 Sorry. Life. At the pizza party. Yes. Okay, let us continue. Okay, we are going to talk about some role in our job. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, we are going to talk about some rule in our job. In order to do this, we are going to watch the presentation. As you can see, uh, it's a fundamental of employee discipline and norms of standard. So we, we need to read a little bit in order to get familiar with this information. And the first question that we have is, what is employee discipline? What can you tell me about? Answer the question, please. It start to work at seven at seven o'clock? Okay, could be. Okay, let, let me let me move. Okay, first of all, I'm going to read this. Employee discipline is defined as the regulation or condition that are imposed on employees by management in order to either correct or prevent behaviors that are detrimental to an organization. Okay, you can read again. In order to get familiar with some words.
Teacher, can you read it again, please? I'm going to read again, don't worry. Okay, teacher. Okay, so employee discipline is defined as the regulation or a condition that are imposed on employees by management in order to either correct or prevent behaviors that are detrimental to an organization. And what is the meaning of this word? Detrimental. What is the meaning of that? Es como eh, perjudicial, quizás, dicho. Perjudicial, dañino. Ah. Lesivo, malo. Okay, who, who wants to read this concept? I mean that you practice. Who wants to read it? My teacher. Okay, Sergio. Employee discipline is defined as the regulation or conditions that are imposed on employees by management in order to either correct or prevent behaviors that are detrimental to an organization. Okay, thank you. Someone now? Me, teacher? Okay, Jonathan. And college discipline is defined as the regulation or condition that are imposed on employees by managers in order to enter correct or prevent behavior that are decrement to our organization. Okay, I'm going to read again employee discipline. Employee discipline is defined as the regulation or condition that are imposed on employees by management in order to either correct or prevent behaviors that are detrimental to an organization. Any question so far from here? No? Okay, let us talk about some uh, important people here. In her for your opinion, a French management manager Theories, discipline is the workplace. Discipline in the workplace was a necessity for an organization to prosper. Without it, an organization could certainly fail. Voy a traducir esta parte eh, en la opinión de Henry Fayol, eh, un personaje francés. Dice que la disciplina en el lugar de trabajo es una necesidad para que una organización prospere. Sin ella, la organización fallará. What do you think about this? Do you consider that your opinion is correct?
For me, yes, teacher, because with the rules in the organization, the people uh, do do other other um, uh, out of rules. Break the rules. Quebranta las leyes. Quebranta las leyes. Okay, let us continue then. James Key Stewart, director of the National Institute of Justice in America, said, report that employee death is costing American business five yes. to ten billion dollars a year. Of greater significance is time stealing that takes place. What does mean? ¿Qué es lo que dice Jane Key Stewart? Es el director nacional del Instituto de Justicia americano. ¿Qué es lo que reportó? What is that language there? Un robo. Ah, ok. El robo de los empleados. Uh -huh. Sí. Le está costando ¿Qué? de 5 a 10 billones de dólares al año a las empresas. Algo de mucho significado. What do you think about this? All depend on the area. All depend on the kind of enterprise where you work in. But let us continue. Then, okay, work is still four hours and 18 minutes each week by. Ojo con esto. What is, what is the meaning of the first two lines? Work is still four hours and 18 minutes each week by. Hello? What is the meaning of the first two lines? Los trabajadores, los empleados que roban cuatro horas y dieciocho minutos cada vez que arriving late, llegan tarde, leaving early, se van temprano, Taking excessively long coffee and lunch break. Cuando se toman eh, las horas de descanso demasiado largas o, la, o a la hora del almuerzo. Smoking. Making personal phone calls. Nowadays, texting. Many workers also misuse stick leaves or use alcohol and drug on the job. This is very important that you understand. Esto es muy importante que todos lo comprendamos. So, Teacher, what is the meaning misus? Misus, ese es como un mal uso de. Uh -huh. Es un mal uso de. Ok. Misuse, misuse. For that reason, say many workers also misuse six leaves. Muchos trabajadores eh, usan mal eh, las salidas por enfermedad. Or use alcohol and drug on the job. O usan alcohol o drogas en sus trabajos. Ok, what can you tell me about this? It is just that we can discuss this. Or question, maybe you got a question. Who, who wants to read it? 
Me, teacher. Okay. Workers still for four hours and eighteen minutes each week by arriving late, leaving early, taking ex accessible excessively long coffee and lunch break, smoking, making personal phone calls, texting. Many workers also miss misuse 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 sick leaves or use alcohol and drug drug on the jobs. Okay, nice. Someone else wants to read it. Anybody else wants to read it? No? I try, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. Worker is still for hours and 18 meters each week by arriving late, leaving early, talking excessively long coffee and lunch break, smoking, making personal phone calls, Texting, many workers also miss you, sip, lips, or use alcohol and drone, or the job. Okay. So, no, someone I want to do it? No? Me, hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, workers still four hours and 18 minutes. It's with by arriving late, leaving early, taking excessively long coffee and lunch break, smoking, making personal phone calls, texting. Many workers also miss sick leave or use alcohol and drug on the jobs. Okay. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, uh, and the next uh, public office is a public trust. Public officer and employees must at all times be accountable to the people, certain with utmost responsibility integrity, loyalty, and efficiency, art with patriotism and justice. Lead modest line. If you want, you can make an, a screenshot and later on you can get some meaning or some expression. Questions? No questions? Teacher, ¿qué significa adwit of Patreons? Patreons? Okay, uh, you are talking about actuar con patriotismo y justicia. Oh, right here, pat patriotism and justice. Lead modesty. And utmost. Okay, thank you. Atmos. 
Yes. Con alta responsabilidad. Ok. Extrema. Yeah. Got different meaning. All depends on the context. Ahora imagínese en, en, en otros países cómo son consideradas las oficinas públicas. Como algo confiable. But I don't know here in, in, in this country because... You know, right here happened a lot of scenes. If if you don't believe it, just take a look at the at the Congress here in El Salvador. What is happening there? But that is political. Okay, in español, creo que hoy sí les han aparecido bastantes palabras nuevas, cierto. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. And I guarantee you that if you learn it in the next module, uh, module, you are not going to have any trouble. That is the reason why I'm sharing this uh, kind of material with you. I recommend you to make a screenshot and later on you can uh, investigate the menu. Okay, another is employees must do, like uh, the obligation. Obliques uh, to, to prove that you are deserving of people trust. Must lead by the rules, regulation, norm, conduct, and discipline. Los deberes se mantienen vivos a través de las reglas, las regulaciones, las normas, la conducta y la disciplina. Is that, is that true? Is correct, teacher. Ah, okay. Is a good line, teacher? It is. Is a good line. Guideline, get line. Es una guía. Es como una guía, teacher. Yes, our, our, um, a group of rules that we need to follow in our in our job. In fact, that all the all the companies uh, need to have uh, something like this. And as soon as somebody get in, uh, they need to share all the information, not that people can know exactly. Okay, lo lots relevant to employees and discipline. Well, this is uh, it's, it's not exactly what we have here in El Salvador. But uh, we talk about some responsibilities. For example, right here, we, we let us talk about kind of norms. Okay, commitment to public interest. Always uphold the public interest of uh, and about your personal interest. What is the meaning of that? Debe prevalecer el interés público antes de que su interés personal. If you are working in a company, that means that you are going to uh, focus your attention in the company goals, not in your own. Professionalism. Perform duties with the highest degree of excellence, intelligence, and skill. Cuando hablamos del profesionalismo, ejecute sus tareas con alto grado de excelencia, inteligencia y habilidad. If you put in practice all these characteristics, everything is going to be really, really good. What about justness and sincerity? This material is focused on public uh, office. Because the public of officials and employees shall remain true to the people at all times.
todo el tiempo deben de mantenerse con la verdad. And this is real difficult in our country, political neutrality. Public official and employee shall provide service to everyone without unfair discrimination and regardless of party. Los empleados deben de dar los servicios a cada uno sin un trato injusto y discriminativo, independientemente del partido que pertenezca. But you are going to tell me maybe what is happening here on El Salvador. I don't know, all depends on your point of view, but I don't want to talk about politics. Just mention this situation here. That's sometimes really difficult. If you visit some uh, public uh, office, you need to have a recommendation in order that they can solve any problem. ¿Será cierto que se da la neutralidad política en El Salvador? No, teacher. <laughs> Y los empleados deben de proveer de los servicios a todos eh, sin que prevalezca la injusticia y la discriminación por el partido al que pertenezcan. What can you tell me about? Responsiveness to the public official and employees shall extend prompts, courteous and adequate service to the public. The, uh, as I told you, this is focused on uh, public office. We already got some ideas that can help us. He is talking about patriotism that in the United States, they focus their attention uh, and also about democracy, and the simple living. You and your family are expected to lead modest lives, appropriate your uh, position and incomes. And uh, hold on a second. Well, I guess this is a uh, very deep, you know, when we talk about this, these topics. Okay, but let us continue then. Let me check out the time that I got. Okay. Here we go. The next activity that we are going to do is the following. Okay, listen to your instructor or read the conversation, then practice with the partner. This conversation is between Claudia and Raul. And Claudia said, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You are right. He should not shout in a minute. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay, what is the content of this conversation? Who wants to tell me? In Spanish, just tell me in Spanish. What is the context? ¿Cuál es el contexto de la conversación? Que Roberto es adicto a su celular. Okay. And what happened? 
y él va a estar, él no debería estar en una reunión con su celular. Ok, what else? Teacher también dice que él envía mensajitos en las reuniones. Y también se dice que es incorrecto que estén hablando de él. Que mejor deberían de ayudarle. Ok. It's a good recommendation. Okay, I'm going to read again. Okay, so in this way, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Do you see him? You're right. He, he should not shut in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Questions about this? Let me know, please. No teacher. No? Oh, yes. Believe, believe, addicted, addicted, absolutely, polite, messages, either, We should help him. We should help him instead. Either. Okay, let us see. Uh, I need to volunteer who wants to read it right now before to go to the breakout room. Who wants to do it? I need two volunteers. Necesito dos voluntarios para hacer la conversación. Me teacher. Me teacher. <laughs> okay. Um, Gabby is going to be Claudia. And the man is going to be Raul. Okay. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He shall answer his message after the meeting, and we shall not talk about not talk about him. That's not polite, Aiden. Either, either, either. I agree. I agree. We shall help him. And instead, instead. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else. Okay, let us stop. Okay, I, I invite you to take an screenshot as well. Done? Did your pronunciation about agree? 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 Agree. 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 Okay.
Okay, here we go.
Okay, welcome back. Let us practice right here. Just let me know who wants to be the first one. Okay, let us do it now, please. Uh, me teacher with okay. Candy. Okay, Carlos, thank you. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to him from. Do you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That, that is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not, not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him in instead. Instructed. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Continue, please. Thank you. Someone else? Who's next? Me, teacher. I want to try with Roxana Landa Verde. Okay, okay, go ahead. Roxana, can you hear me? Um, puede, teacher, puede poner la, la conversation? Yes. Here you are. Okay, okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should he should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite, Aiden. Agree. We shall help him instead. Yeah. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, okay. Somebody else? Next, please. Me, teacher, with Paola. Okay, go ahead. You start, Paul. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert, it's a bit to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He shall not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not valid. He shall answer his messages after the meeting. And we shall not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agreed. We shall help him instead. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The last couple, please. Me, teacher, with my partner, Sergio. Okay, go ahead with Sergio. Okay, start. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You are right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we I... should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We shall help him. Instead. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. I'm going to read the last time. I can believe it. Believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not shut in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He, he should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. Okay, thank you. Let us continue. Okay, this is uh, exercise number three. So, pair words discuss the question with the partner. We got two questions. What are some polite behavior you expect from your co workers? And the second one said, What are some rude behavior your workers are not expected to do? This is the question you are going to discuss with your partner. Okay, uh, take a screenshot, please. Done. Okay, I'm going to give you like three or four minutes. And I need that all of you answer uh, these two questions. And later on, you are going to share the information with somebody else. Please do it in that way. As soon as you got the answer, you can discuss with somebody else.
De hecho, era mi mesa costumbre. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm going to show you again. Okay, let us see the answers that you have. You can start uh, in couples. Pueden iniciar en parejas. Te hace uno una pregunta y el otro otro. Okay, let us do it, please. Okay, who wants to answer the, the, the first question? Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Uh, my partner was Candy. Uh, she questioned and I answer okay let us see the answer okay in the first what are some polite some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers in this case um i hope respect Support, teamwork, and courtesy. Okay. And the second one, what are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expected to do? Um, disrespect, abuse, shooting, or bad treatment. Okay, thank you. Okay, maybe your partner can answer the second question. Or someone else. What are some rude behavior you worker are not expected to do? Tell me. Again, teacher or other? If anybody else wants to talk, you can do it. I tell you. OK, 
Okay, second question. Me again, teacher? If you want, because any, anybody else wants to answer it. Yes. Let's repeat it, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, what are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expected, expected to do? Uh, disrespect, abuse, shooting, bad treatment. Okay. <clears throat> okay, what, what about the rest of the class? Me, teacher? Okay, tell me, sir. The answer, the, my partner, teacher, Roxana Landaverde, say um, always use appropriate language, apologize for error or mistake, Keep your personal opinion of other code worker teacher. Okay. And the second question, the answer, uh, don't take it personally. Communicate with other code worker teacher. Okay. Only that teacher. Okay, thank you. Anybody else wants to say something about this? No? Okay, let me continue because there are a lot of info. Okay, and this is number five, how to use should and should not. Okay, um, look at the word symbol and complete the sentences below. The girl should answer my good morning greeting. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. The supervisor should use a, a greeting in his emails. You should set please when you ask for a favor. Okay, now we can complete the, the gaps. You should plus the infinity form or the pay form of the verb. Just tell me. The base form, teacher. Okay, plus any compliment phrases to express a di direct suggestions, you know. Okay, and on the right side, say Dario should not use many emojis in his email. Helen should not speak too loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist joke. And the last one, your boss should not shoot at you. She, uh, your boss should not Shot at you. Okay, you should plus not whatever. Infinity for or the bay form of the bell. Infinity for okay and Uh, plus compliment phrases to give you suggestions about something that is not appropriate that is to use. Okay. Any question? No. Okay, we have something you should never do at work. For example, the first one lie. Sure, there, there are times when you might feel like a lying to a client or a co-worker will make uh, the situation easier, but being 
seen as an honest person is more important for your professional reputation. Even if you haven't completed something, this something wrong, etc. Be honest for your manager and worker will appreciate you more for telling the truth than lying and describing them. Okay, well, what can you tell me about this? An easy command, hurry up, please. No ideas? It's okay, teacher. Okay, I'm going to move forward. Okay, when we say bad breaches, maybe you can stand for it, should manager, or you just like the work you are doing. Whether the case may be, don't ever bar a breach. We hear this is all the time in the business world because it is very valuable advice. <clears throat> What is the meaning of the first two lines? Las dos primeras líneas, veamos que comprende. In Spanish, teacher. Yes. Just tell me, what do you got? You mind. Posiblemente usted no soporte a su gerente o a usted no le guste el trabajo que usted está haciendo. No importa cuál de los casos sea. Teacher, ¿y el significado de Bird Bridges? This is bar bridges. Mm -hmm. Okay, isolate in isolate way in una forma aislada bar es como quemar. And bridge bridges sería como como un puente. Ahora adaptémoslo al 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 idioma nuestro. ¿Qué vendría a ser? Como una oportunidad, teacher. Pero bar sería no queme, ¿qué? Don't ever bar a bridge. We hear this all the time in the business world because it is very valuable advice. You never know when you may need help. Usted no sabe cuándo va a necesitar ayuda, assistance, or a referee from a... Past colleague, treat everyone with the respect, not just manager. You never know how the relationship could benefit you in the future. Es decir, no cierre puerta, señor. No pelearse con la cocinera, teacher. Nunca se sabe qué es lo que pueda suceder. Lo que dijo también ahí el compañero tiene mucha lógica. Okay, teacher. Okay, so, so what now? Can mass. Anybody else want to talk? No? Okay, let me see what else do I have here. Veamos que más le podemos recomendar. React while upset. Work can get instant, especially at a high pressure job. It is a good idea to learn how to handle your emotion in the workplace before a situation arises. There may be times that a project falls through, you lose 
you lost a customer or there is a disagreement but showing your emotion through rage or anger will only create a bad reputation for you in the workplace. Okay, let me see the time. Well, we got blame, complain. I don't know if you want to take a screenshot about this. What is the meaning of blame, teacher? Culpa. Yes. Thanks. Blame is like that. There, there are certainly going to be times of your professional career when something goes wrong. It's not your fault at all. Algunas veces eh, van a suceder algunas cosas que en su carrera profesional no van a salir bien. Pero en realidad no es tu culpa completamente. Es fácil que alguien quiera culpar a un compañero de trabajo o a un empleado. Pero también eh, cuando uh, sea posible uh, aceptar la responsabilidad. Si usted tuvo parte en, en, ese, en ese evento. Aún y cuando no sea directamente su culpa. Y enfóquese en resolver el problema. Aquí hay una expresión muy importante que dice, when you throw someone under the bus. Que literalmente diría, cuando usted tira a alguien debajo del bus, it doesn't solve the problem. It only negatively impacts the relationship. En otras palabras, eso de throw someone under the bus. ¿Eso qué significaría aquí para nosotros? Lanzar a alguien bajo el bus, ¿cómo sería el nuestro? ¿Cómo culpar a alguien? Ajá. ¿Acusar? Ok, acusarlo. Eso lo que va a hacer es eh, aumentar el problema. Y habrá un impacto en la relación. Pero ahí estamos entrando en, en otra terminología. Uh, complain everybody. Everyone gets frustrated at work once a while. And there are times when you'll be unhappy. But don't spread those emotions around the office. Cada uno, en, cada uno se frustra en su trabajo alguna vez. Y hay momentos cuando usted estará no feliz, pero no, no esparza esas emociones alrededor de su oficina. No one wants a negative work. Nadie quiere un compañero de trabajo negativo. That stresses everyone else out. Eso estresa a los demás, incluso afuera. Try to focus on the thing you can control and stay positive. Trate de mantenerse, trate de mantener a las cosas bajo control y positivamente. It's very difficult, teacher. 
Yeah, I know. I know it's 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 yes. really really difficult. I have a I have a negative coworker. Yes. Yes, it's very negative. I know, I know. During my experience in different uh, areas and different institutions, I've been working not only just in public offices, but also in private. And during 10, 20 years, I have found different kinds of behavior, you know? People that uh, they don't do anything about, but if you if they look that you are doing something, they say, nah, it's, it's a mess what he or she is doing. I am the only one that I can do. That usually happens, but don't worry about that. Siempre va a encontrar ambas cosas, positive and negative. Siempre van a estar los dos, las dos energías ahí para que enciendan la batería. Okay, let me see the time. Okay, let us uh, continue with the exercise number six. Let me see the time. My goodness. Provide a suggestion about the next situation that we're. Okay, we can, uh, we are going just to share it and we can check it tomorrow. Okay, Peter is new supervisor. He likes to give order. He never say please. Okay, and the suggestion is Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say please when he asked for something. That is the all those are key words. When car is angry or things are not as he expected, he shout. Ah, bueno. Él grita cuando no están las cosas en su lugar. ¿Qué podemos decirle para que resuelvan bien? My assistant never uses a salutation in her email. Mi asistente nunca escribe un saludo en los email. What we can do? And the last one, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She laughs very loudly. A Lucy le gusta contar o hacer bromas en la oficina. Y de repente grita mucho, ¿no? Ok. Por ahí le dejo. Because we are close to finish. Let me see the time. My goodness. Time is flying. Okay, let me check out the attendance first. America, now here. Carlos. Present. Okay, Cecilia. Edwin, Alexis, Edwin, Alfredo, Best teacher. Okay. Esmeralda, Present teacher. Okay, Gabriela. Gabi, Gisela, present teacher, Hector, present teacher, Ingrid, Jonathan, present. Don Jose Ernesto. Present teacher. Ah, he está, he está. Welcome. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. 
Natalia. Present teacher. Okay. Let me see who's missing here. Okay, uh, Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, Mercedes. Present teacher. Okay, Roxana Alvarez. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Teacher. Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Janet. Present teacher. And Yesenia Lisset. Okay, let Teacher, me... se me salió un momento. Pero aquí estoy. Okay, thank you. Let me see number 12, Don Jose Ernesto Alemán. We are going to talk at the end. Uh, ojo, I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Voy a decir esto en español. Tengo todavía varias personas que no me han realizado las actividades de la plataforma ni la semana 1 ni la semana 2. Por favor, quienes sean, no me lo digan acá, solo revisen y traten de ponerse al día, por favor. Teacher, este, logro escucharme cuando dije present. Yes. Oh, perfect. Eh, de igual forma, me voy a poner al día el día sábado, porque yo estoy mediante datos, entonces el sábado pasa en red de Wi-Fi, donde mi hermana, entonces ahí voy a realizar todas las, las pruebas, la semana 1, la 2. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok, the same happened with. Lo mismo sucede con quien más. Paola, Liceo. Bueno, ahí están. Okay, uh, okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much. And good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Don Jose Ernesto, no me vaya, por favor. Good night, teacher. Okay, teacher, okay. Good night. Okay, hold on a second, just waiting for... Ok, don José estaba revisando sus notas y veo que me le faltan actividades. Así que le invito a que se me ponga al día. Sí, ya mañana me pongo al día hoy. Ok, perfecto. Sí, eso, eso es bueno. Eh, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta referente a algún tema que ya vimos para poder ayudarle y que salgamos bien en este módulo, porque es la idea. Fíjense que estoy viendo algunas cosas que, que han podido ver cuando no he estado, hombre, que he perdido las clases. 
Hoy me volvió a suceder desgraciadamente que no logré llegar a tiempo bien temprano. Sí. Y eso pues de verdad que lo, lo desubica uno en, la, en el estudio. Me ha afectado mucho lo último. Sí. Sí. Eso siento que me ha afectado la, la haber faltado estos días. Sí, yo, yo vengo dispuesto a, a no faltar, ¿va? y digo, no, no puede ser, pero hoy me agarró un tráfico enorme en Santa Tecla y tuve que ir a dejar un, un trabajador de los últimos que se van hasta el centro y no, fue imposible. Cuando vine a ver eran las ocho y diez y yo en el centro y cuando vengo a ver ya la casa y vine en noche. Sí. Sí. Bien duro, me Sí, pero sí estoy previendo esa situación. Sí. Ok, bueno, ya vamos eh, iniciando tercera semana. Solo es de ponerse al día con las actividades. Si hay algún tema en específico que no se comprenda muy bien, solo me lo indica para poder ayudarle y que salgamos adelante. Sí, está bien, porque fíjese que yo estos días que no he estado viniendo, Decía yo, voy a aprovechar de, de ponerme al día en el día, pero también estuve saturado el trabajo y se va el día que es oro, verdaderamente el tiempo. Sí, así es. Sí, no, si no alcanza. Y, y... Pero ahí estoy, ahora sí pude estar estudiando un poco lo que es eso del... del... que decía Kul, Kulju Mai. Tuve... tuve practicar un poco lo que medio estudiamos anoche. ¿va? Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces dije, no, sé que... Pero una media hora uno viene a sentir que se va rápido también a ponerse a estudiar. Sí, así es. Y es bonito porque dice uno, bueno, si lo necesario es mantenerse ocupado, ¿va? pero ni la vida se siente, ¿verdad, Ticha? Sí, se comprende. Sí. Ni la vida se siente que se nos va tan rápido. ¿no? Así es esto. Sí, sí. Sí, así que yo sí quiero seguir adelante, quiero luchar con esto. Y ya mañana, primero Dios, vengo temprano. Ok. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Uh, I don't know if, uh, si el tema de hoy sí lo, lo comprendió. Fíjense que lo que logré ver, por ejemplo, acá no tengo unas oraciones, ¿verdad? Sí. Que era lo que estaban, estaban viendo cuando yo logré entrar, que... No sé yo aquí que, como eran diferencias, ¿verdad? Logré este... Que dice mantener... Este, yo puse unas oraciones como las positivas, mantener en armonía y equilibrio en el lugar de trabajo. Yo ponía mantai en money, en balance, en work, please. Eh, cumplir con los horarios establecidos, con, que dice comply wise de establish schedule. Schedule, schedule. Schedule, schedule, eso, así es, ya me está agarreando ahí. Schedule. Bueno, y así va formando otras que las escribo en español, de ahí las voy formando en, en inglés, ¿verdad? me faltaban unas, pero pero sí había entendido de qué se trataba, pues me gusta mucho lo que estudiamos porque este, aquí en el trabajo yo soy el manager, ¿verdad? Okay. Eso me cae todo el peso del trabajo. Sí. Pero este, ah, siento que tantas cosas que aquí se hablan que se necesitan, ¿verdad? <risa> aplicarse, ¿sí? sí. Se necesita aplicarse. Es necesario, por eso que hoy vamos tomando, ya en este módulo, vamos tomando ya nuevo vocabulario que es el que van a usar más adelante. Y uno puede decir, no, hombre, si eso es solo por hacer oraciones, ¿verdad? pero la ciudad se está viviendo. Lo que es la organización, lo que es el, el, la coordinación, este, el orden que debe de llevarse en el trabajo. Sí, es serio, para que una organización pueda mantenerse y tener trayectoria. Así es. Siento que es muy bonito, a mí me encanta, me gusta el tema, los temas, todos son bien interesantes. 
son prácticamente de la, algunos temas son de la parte administrativa. Sí. Son de la parte administrativa y en mi caso se me hace bastante fácil también, ya que además de eso también tengo una formación en recursos humanos. Ah, qué bueno, sí. Yo, mi área es lo industrial. Sí. Entonces, yo en el campo con mis trabajadores, ah, la gente le gusta porque ve que yo los, los, les enseño mucho, les, les instruyo a todo lo que es seguridad, higiene ocupacional, cómo van a desarrollar los trabajos, los clientes quedan muy, muy agradecidos, pero en mi, en mi fuerte, difícil, siento acá es la administración. Siempre he buscado decir yo quién me administra. He buscado licenciadas, este, he tenido algunos ingenieros que me ayudan a la administración, pero al final este, siempre por motivos de, 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 de inestabilidad que hay en el país, quizás, ¿verdad? Sí. Y lo, lo que les ofrecen afuera siempre se me van. Y eso me ha afectado mucho en mi desarrollo como crecimiento, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero este, hoy quizás estoy un poco mejor con la administración y todo en el trabajo. Gracias a Dios estoy un poco mejor, pero sí siento que es de los mejores momentos que he pasado, de, de, que voy cubriendo todos los espacios, ¿verdad? que es la, la área de, de poder atender al cliente, eh, lograr hacer la facturación, todo eso a tiempo. Entonces eso me está ayudando mucho, estoy como al, al borde de, de decir si lo estoy logrando. Ah, ok, perfecto. Eso me ha gustado y, y tal vez es cuando tengo menos gente profesional que uno dice, no hombre, no está ni el ingeniero, ni el arquitecto, ni la, ni la licenciada. <risa> es solo, solo gente, tengo solo gente que son técnicos, este, que han estudiado bachilleratos. Sí. Así que, pero gracias a Dios, este, sí siento que vamos por buen camino. Y por eso estos temas los siento yo en, en, en plena... ¿Los sientes familiares? Sí, que sí son, son bien necesarios. Sí. Sí. Okay. Así que estoy... Bueno, well, uh, what I can do is just to invite you to continue and resolve all the activities that we have in the platform invitarlo a que continúe, resuelva la sí. plataforma y cuando hayan algunas dudas, pues consultar si por algún motivo no se puede presentar, también un mensajito ahí al grupo. Muy para, bien. Para saber de que al menos va conectado, sí. viendo y pues haciendo lo que se puede hacer. ¿no? Correcto, sí. Le Okay, excellent. I hope to see you tomorrow. Gracias. Good night and take care. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night.